Now, Young Dolph was a beloved artist, philanthropy, um, independent rapper in the music industry. But in 2021, he suffered a tragic death, right? Now, there's new details coming out and emerging about what happened to Young Dolph and the people who took part in the murder of Memphis rapper Young Dolph. Now, it's been three years, okay? Um, this was in 2021. But the, the way this death happened, it was big for the community. And it's strange that it took so long for this to happen, but with new evidence, testimonies including sus, you know, suspects snitching on each other, and uh, someone's reportedly doing this for only $800. The case is far from over. It's just getting started, but I have all the details. We're going to get into it. So if you don't know Young Dolph, he was an independent rap icon. You know, he had the pre-movement, had other artists like Key Glock under his influence. You know, independent artists. He, he was paving the way for independent rappers, which is not too prominent in today's time of music, which is a big deal. Um, and unfortunately, there was a lot of things stirring uh, leading up to this moment that was happening on kind of like an industry uh, industry thing. And, um, you know... Dolph was dope, man. A lot of the hustlers, a lot of the trappers, they really resonated with Dolph. You know, he died. he's famous that song, Get Paid, Young, Get Get Paid. But he was doing a lot of social activism within his communities. So people felt like this death was unjustly. But we're going to break it down. So on November 17th of 2021, Young Dolph was shot and killed in broad daylight at a bakery in Memphis. Now, surveillance footage captured the entire incident. And the suspects responsible for the crime quickly became the focus of investigation. Now, I want to walk you through the the moments leading up to this very unfortunate um, murder of Young Dolph. But the funny thing about all of this is that the people, the young boys who did this, I don't know how people are still running around doing broad daylight murders because when you realize how much footage they caught of this dude throughout the course of the day, it's almost extremely discouraging that it took three years for them to come up with this case now with all the footage they have the young boys actually doing the murder running to the store the kid who we're going to speak about later that they see with this hat on right now this is a kid by the name of justin he is one responsible for this or taking a majority of the blame because he decided not to snitch now if you look closely at 7 15 p.m november 16 2021 they're walking you through the concourse apartments uh 17 hours and eight minutes before the murder so let's take a look at what's happening here so as you can see, the kid Justin Jones, who will break down later, he's in this Bass Pro hat, uh, gray sweatpants, and those that Bass Pro hat and gray sweatpants are going to make a lot of sense later, so let's just keep watching. He's in his apartment, he's walking with a bag, 17 hours before the murder. They spot him at his apartment. Now they spot him getting into a white SUV, a white expedition to be exactly. Keep this in mind, this expedition will come back up later. This is at his apartment right now. Now, you see him getting on the eleva elevator, same Bass Pro hat, same gray sweatpants as we may see later. Now, he's leaving his apartment 17 hours before the murder. Now, it's 2.41 in the morning, 9 hours and 42 minutes before the murder, still at the concourse apartments. Now, he's leaving. This is 2.41 in the morning, still has the gray sweatpants on. Now, they have a new car, the white Mercedes Benz that you've seen used during the shooting of Young Dolph. Now, as you can see, it's late at night. They're at a gas station. It seems someone parked the white Mercedes, or they did park the white Mercedes, and did a car swap. Now, it is officially 11.51 the next day, November 17th at 2021, on 2021, at 11.51 in the morning, 30 minutes before the murder. Back at the concourse apartments, we see who? Justin, with the same gray sweatpants and the Bass Pro hat, but now with his young child. Mind you, he has not switched his clothes, and he leaves now in what? that white Mercedes, and as you can see, Wednesday, November 17th, 1222, what do we see? The white Mercedes, Bass Pro hat, gray sweatpants, we see him on camera. Did not switch his clothes, did not do anything. I mean, these young boys nowadays gotta be, I don't know how ridiculous you have to be to literally be running around for two days in the same outfit, then go murder somebody in broad daylight with the same outfit in a stolen car that you swapped at a gas station. But it only gets worse. So they shoot Young Dolph a bunch of times. It was reported about 20-something shots where Young Dolph had suffered from. Now, they had a Draco, and they had a handgun, and of course, it's the Screech, so you're never going to rediscover the handgun or the Draco. They never had found the gun again. Now. 
This is later. You see him still with the gray sweatpants again walking into a house with somebody else. Still, the same outfit is on. This is still the same day. Now you see him come back out into the same navigator that switched that they had um that he was in yesterday before they got the white bends, but all he did was change his hoodie. Still had the same gray sweatpants on. Now he's back at the concourse apartments where he lives with the yellow hoodie and the gray sweatpants on. He gets out of the elevator, the same floor as earlier, but now he has his bags packed with his mask off and it seems as he's about to flee town. Now, I don't know how much more slow people can be, but when you find out how much money they did this for and where the corruption really came from, it, it'll make it make sense, okay? Now, a lot of people are like, where did this happen from? So there was a point in time when Young Dolph was supposed to sign to the rap label CMG, which is ran by Yo Gotti, you know, the people who have Black Youngster, Moneybag Yo, Glorilla, uh, and a few other new rappers. I'm getting too outdated why I don't even know the younger these kids get. But there's a few other rappers that are popular that are coming from the CMG label that is ran by Yo Gotti. And at a point in time, they had beef allegedly because Young Dolph didn't want to sign to the CMG label. He's a Memphis artist. Yo Gotti and them are Memphis labels or executives and young uh young Dolph did not want to sign to the label so this is what began to happen oh god he's big brother by the name of juke put a 100k hit on Dolph. prosecutors say an opening statement now even the kid who was on the trial admitted to this as well now you want to hear something extremely funny about this 100k what happened was that 100k was supposed to go and be split between three people 40k for justin 40k for the his his the his um the person that's speaking out against him and then there was another person in the mix but again can you believe what began to happen so justin jones apparently took majority of the money and gave the kid who you saw or if you listen to this via audio the kid who had the draco the little uh mini ak is what they call a draco he gave him 800 dollars for the killing of young Dolph and kept majority of the money so people believe that's why he's snitching now but that's not why because he even admits why he's snitching but the 100k was put on young Dolph apparently because they promised the kid justin whose name is also his rap name is straight job that he would get a record deal with cmg if he puts this out and finishes the job but can you believe that the other kid by the name smith who did this hit his motives were completely different my baby birthday my daughter's birthday november 17th yeah my daughter you went and killed a man on your daughter's birthday hey i'm trying to make it make it right for him. i ain't had no money i'm trying to get some money that day so i'm trying to make sure my baby girl man have a, a beautiful birthday so it was whatever you know i'm trying to get high on pills it was whatever but you're telling her you're going to buy her house, you're going to give her $10,000 for rent? I said, this right. before. The day before? Yeah, you know, I tell female that, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's my baby mama. I was trying to get back with her or whatever. It ain't just like, you know, it's just gang. You know what I'm saying? It's hey, just gang. That ain't bad. I was like, it's So you're lying to her too? I ain't saying lying. I ain't going to say that. Gang and lying is two different things because... Now, just imagine that you're in jail and every single year your daughter's birthday comes, she has to be reminded that my dad killed somebody for $800 and I'll never be able to see him again on my birthday. Now, Mr. Cornelius Smith is screaming like he's in a church choir. I mean, singing, letting it all loose. And he's even telling the, the jurisdiction of the court that, um, yeah, I'm going to just tell the truth. Ain't no point of lying. I'm already going to jail. So basically, he is screaming. He is screaming, letting everybody know all the details and all the intricacies of what's happening because he literally just does not care. And he realized he's going to go to jail regardless. I mean, he's been telling every single detail of the case that Big Juke put the hit out, that um uh, they were supposed to make this amount of money and he only got $800 back. I mean, this beef dates back so long to the point that Young Dolph in 2017 suffered a shooting where his his uh his, his he got shot at a hundred times literally and people like Black Youngster who's a part of the CMG label got arrested for that but his case was surely dismissed and then you have people like Big Juke who's supposed to go to trial for that and then he ended up dying before they went to trial so you got to understand this beef between these Memphis artists are long and ongoing 
but this is only the beginning because now they have the footage, they have who did it, and they have someone willing to tell all. So this is only going to get worse and worse and worse, and who knows what's going to come out of this situation. But the trial is still ongoing. This is just stuff that's been released for the past few days. Uh, you could check Law and Crime. They have all the footage and all the stuff from the trial. But I just wanted to give you a little brief synopsis on what's happening because this has been a crazy time. When you think about it, there are really people out there who will spend all day looking to kill somebody for some money. I mean, you could go make a minimum, you can go take a minimum wage job and make 40000 because that was the original spread. So there was a person by the name of, I believe his name was Hernandez, and he was the one organizing how it was going to go down. And I guess they weren't even planning to get Dolph that day, but young Dolph had a camo style car. That was his thing. If anybody knows young Dolph, he would put camouflage all over his vehicles and drive around. That was him. So they end up coming across him while going to look for other people throughout the day because other people apparently had money on their head. But when you think about it, right? We talk about these young boys who are crash out dummies. There are grown men who are crash out dummies who really will murder you for eight hundred dollars, right? Because there was no, there wasn't no deposit, there wasn't no paperwork. It was like you go take care of this. I'm gonna give you a hundred thousand. So the kid broke it down and ends up dropping him off eight hundred dollars, and he was the main one. This kid Smith was the main one putting the shots in on Dolph, which is crazy. When you think about it, right? He shot so much. He even said himself, I can't even tell you how many times I shot at him. But when you think about how sick this world is and the fact that people will do this kind of stuff for little amounts of money, it makes you realize that this world is poisoned. And when we talk about what's going on in inner cities and no, we got to we got to realize there are really people who are starving, who would do anything. I mean, his motivation was because he wanted to make sure his daughter had a good birthday. So he went and killed a man in broad daylight. Because he claimed to want his daughter to have a good birthday. Do y'all see how sick that is? This is not about a, us losing a rapper or anything like that. We lose rappers, unfortunately, all the time. It feels like that comes with the, the nature of the game. It's sickening. But the point is the mental health crisis. The point is we still have grown men running around crashing out that will kill you for $800. Okay? And granted, he didn't know he was going to get $800. He thought he was going to get that 40 bands. But still, you walked away with $800 and you went to court and sang like a church choir. So you got to understand another thing, too, is like you have hip hop where only a, a lot of times in our community, we glorify, we glorify individualism, right? Because celebrities are validation for black Americans to continue to worry about themselves. So when you see people that get famous from rapping and as fuck bitches get money, that glorifies the individualism and that glorifies us being able to go against each other even further because it's like you come into the city driving all type of cars, Corvettes, Lambos, Camos, wrapping them and you think we not going to feel a type of way about that because there is no there's no form of black unity. Everything is individualism. So they have the individualistic needs and Young Dolph unfortunately has his individualistic needs, which is. I'm going to keep getting rich as an independent and they feel like, well, we're going to take your money from you because we're really starving in the trenches. You come around the trenches and Corvettes driving, eating cookies, and that causes issues. Systematic poverty is real. There's people who are still in poverty because people are like, yo, why don't you just go work a job and make 40000 You cannot tell a person that who's willing to drive around, wake up in the morning and go kill a person for some money to get it now. There's a, there's a very big uh, diff uh, there are a lot of mental differentiators, differentiators, whatever the word is, how you say it, that are happening within our communities. And this is a prime example. Uh, the way Nipsey Hussle unfortunately passed uh, by just simply calling someone a rat and you go ahead and kill him to protect your identity. Individualism is a real is a real poison to the mind of any black person in the world because there's nothing that white America fears more than black unity. Than black unity. Look it up yourself. Look up what the FBI. Uh, J. Edgar Hoover had said about the there's nothing worse than the coming of a black messiah because they know black unity is the biggest and most dangerous thing to the world. But not only did we lose off, there's still people who die every day. But the bigger problem is that this is not changing. How do we fix this? Do we blame hip hop for this? Do we blame the the government? Do we do we do we blame poverty? Do we blame politicians? Who do you blame for this? For the fact that 
we suffer from so much black on black crime. Um, FBI recently recently released data on um, the murders and you know incarceration. We are still pretty high when it comes to violence. Um, and it's causing a lot of controversy between white Americans or European Americans and black Americans on who is the more violent group of people. I always say truly the most violent group of people in the world are Europeans. They are responsible for the most genocide, funding the most genocide, uh, funding the most wars, going to into the most wars, getting rid of entire nations, robbing people of all their rich resources and minerals to better benefit themselves. Um, though Africans sold themselves into slavery the way Americans handled slavery was the most demoralizing act of any type of slavery that could ever have happened because we all come from slavery but the way Europeans inflicted it on Africans um, was the worst way it could have been done so I always say no matter what statistics say Europeans are the most violent people in history um, unfortunately blacks are subject to a lot of violence now and what can we blame it to low education poverty it's in a white European America that this is happening, but there's no accident of how we got here. So there has to be reason for this. But um, as I always say, it's your boy Dre. I'm out.